Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here for another player interview today. Today, I'm going to be interviewing one of the newest players for Troy's women's basketball team, 5'9 guard, Zanatika Downs. She is a Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson range type shooter. She's willing to take that shot wherever on the court. And trust me, she is going to make that shot. So you better guard her. And she's a great threat on the offensive end and the defensive end of the court. She's an absolute beast. I've known her for a few years now. I can't wait to have her on here and talk to her a bit. Um, so once she gets on here, I'm going to add her in and ask her some questions. Say, say. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what's good? What's good? Not much. How you been? I'm good. Good to hear. How's it going at Troy so far? It's great. It's great so far. I like the coaches, the, the players, you know everybody getting along. Team chemistry coming along. Good environment. That's good to hear. You guys you guys have a real shot at making a run in that March Madness tournament come March. <laughs> yeah. Definitely can't wait. All right, so I'm going to start off with the beginning of your college career. Obviously, that's FSW. That's where me and you originally met, and I got to yeah. learn just how good of a shooter you are because I'm pretty sure you still hold the record for half-court shots during the halftime games. You know, half <laughs> you know it. Me and Roy still watch those videos, I'm, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need yeah. them videos, too, speaking of that. Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. them. You start off your first two years there. Um, you know, obviously that JUCO route, you're developing, learning, uh, you know, from the people in front of you, as well as, you know, the coaches, Coach Ward, Coach Ellis there, Coach Raven. Um, mm -hmm. So you, like I said, you're an absolute bucket. But not only were you an absolute bucket on the offensive end, you were a big time threat on the defensive end. You were the all time steals leader for FSW, as well as, of course, the all time three point three pointers made. You made 146 threes uh, in your two years there. Talk to me about your mentality during your time at the junior college level when you were on the court, when you were playing in the games. You know, my mentality was just to, to be the best player out there, you know. The goat, be a dog, you know. You gotta work. It's this difference between a hooper and a ball player. A hooper, you actually want to get out there and get it. You want to win every time you step on the court. A ball player, you just, you know, just step on the court like, okay, whatever. But yeah, that was my mentality. I had the hooper mentality and I was ready to go at it every time I stepped on the court. Yeah. Yeah. You had some incredible performances, you know. Basically, every game, you were scoring 20-plus points. You had a couple 30-point games in there. You had one against Hillsborough. I got to be there. You scored a school record 41 points. <laughs> I, I know you remember that game. Talk to me a little bit about the game going into it. And what was going through your mind when you were just making everything? Oh, uh, see, listen, man. I, it was really just – I told my teammates, hey, we're going to get out here. We're going to win this game. I stepped on the court. As soon as the game started, you I was hot. The hand. I told everybody it's the hand. It was a hand, Jay. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I was hot and I just killed. You know, let me see how I wanna put this. How many people watching? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I was hot that game and I just I don't know what was in me. I really don't know what was in my body, but I just know I kept it up the whole game and ended the game with 41 points. I don't know. Yeah. You know my other stats from that game? Man, it's been like two years. I can't, I can't recall the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember <laughs> me and Roy were running late because of traffic, and we get there right at halftime, and we ask, all right, what, what's it looking like? Coach Raven comes up to me and goes, Jay, Z already has 20 points. And I look at him, you're crazy. And then, sure enough, you come out. I'm, I think you hit three threes in a row when you guys came out for the first half, too. That was the best part. Yeah, <laughs> so. but it's, it's it's mainly just just staying focused. Like, it's, that's all it leads. You got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were the second all-time scorer with over 1,000 points, 1,057 points. Only one person has scored more than you, and that's Tina Simmons. I'll get to her later because I know she's with you now at Troy. I was coming after 
uh, your season, your sophomore season, you had tons of offers. You had offers from Oklahoma State um, because you got a lot of recognition, you know, across mm -hmm. the country. Not only were you the conference player of the year, uh, you know, all state player, but you ended up being an NJCAA All American. Very few, very few players across the country get that kind of honor. Talk to me about, you know, that kind of recognition. What did that mean to you, being able to get recognized for that? Um, I was really in shock. Like, hard work really pays off. Like, all you have to do, work hard every day, be motivated, have self-discipline. You know, on and off, off the court, you have to do your business. Off the court, too, you have to go to class, do your work, keep, keep your grades up so you can focus on the court. And that's just all it was. You just have to, you know. Yeah, gotta have that. Gotta have that focus mindset. You got it. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, FSW is without a doubt one of the best, you know, women's basketball programs in you know the, at the junior college level uh, mm -hmm. across the country. And this, I believe, they're going into now only their fifth year of even existing. So you were there for, I believe, the third and fourth year. Um, you played alongside some great talent. I believe around five or six players that you played alongside ended up going to the Division One level after mm -hmm. their time in FSW. Talk to me about the talent level that you got to play alongside with uh, during your time there. Uh, it's just a, it's just a whole lot of whole lot of different talent. Like everybody, everybody can hoop. Now. Like it's not even, it's not even on a high school type level. You you playing against. Like I said, you playing against dogs, so you when you when you step out of you like, okay, she good, I'm good too, so I have to do what I gotta do. And it's just what it is. You you don't look at you don't look at another person and be like, Oh, she better than me. You're gonna have that mindset and be like, I'm the better player, you're gonna go out there and show them that you're the better player. But playing against playing against my girls, they really taught me a lot. Cause I wasn't like I wasn't the best player yet, but I was working on it and Whew. What what's that? You remember the girl? What's her name? Alana Smith. Alana Smith. Um, Gulf Coast. Yeah, I believe. I yeah. believe. She, when I tell you that girl, that is a dog, Jay. <laughs> Man, she really, yeah. I really like her game, but yeah, I, I watch, I rewatch our game playing against her, and I. You know, I took from that, and I tried to learn from her because she's a great player. I admit that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, junior college across the you know across the country that that like you said, it's the dog mentality. You got a lot of underrated mm -hmm. players, a lot of people trying to prove themselves, and they're just willing to put in that work in order to showcase their. Mm -hmm. And it's either it's either you gonna work or you not. You you gonna work, then it's like, what's your point of being here, being on the court? Like, what's your point? Mm hmm. Yeah, you, yourself, along with uh, Neramar Vargas Reyes, she's at Stony Brook now. You two really led that sophomore class, along with Shekinah and Simone, mm -hmm. uh, during your sophomore year to get a berth into that national tournament uh, selection. Unfortunately, COVID happened. You guys weren't able to go. But you and Neramar really were two big-time leaders for that team. Talk to me about your relationship with uh, Neramar. I mean, <laughs> we had a, we had a we had a great relationship. I, I say is we always you know in the, in the games we look at each other. She be wanting me to shoot the ball, but you know me, I point at her. I be like, you shoot it, <laughs> like, you know. So we we basically we just encourage each other. We knew like we were better than what we were, so we just like you know, Whew, kept working. So following following the FSW timeline, I talked a lot about that already. So following that, I mentioned before, you had an offer from Oklahoma State along with a couple other Power 5 schools. You ended up deciding to go to the University of North Carolina at Wilmington. You know, mid-major, you know, not as big, but you still, you still dominated during your time there. You ended up being an all-conference third-team selection. You were named the sixth player of the year in the conference. Talk to me about your time there and what you, what your role seemed to be in your eyes and what you learned uh, during that free year, COVID free year where you, uh, it doesn't count towards your eligibility. Yeah, well, 
My role, my role at UNCW was basically just, you know, bringing the energy to practice and to the games. Well, hustling, practice, practice, practice really, like, determine the games, really. So when, when I was in practice, I was going hard, like, 100%. So, I never took I never took nothing for granted because I just knew like I had to be the best player. So coming off the bench, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in the game. I'm gonna do what I got to do. And yeah, yeah. But, but um, you asked you asked another question after that one, and I forgot what it was. Oh, uh, what? What did you what did you learn from that experience? Because like you said, you came off the bench providing a lot of energy. I mean, you had a couple of games. You had seven steals on the defensive end against Campbell and against South Carolina State. You came off the bench and scored 32. So, I mean, you really made that impact, and you earned. I mean, a lot of players get the honor of sixth man of the year. You earned that honor, without a doubt. So what did you learn during that uh, free year there at UNCW? <laughs> I see me with me coming out the bench. I just learned that even though I was coming out the bench, like I I didn't I wasn't like really upset about not starting because I knew like once I came out the bench, I was gonna do what I have to do. And my experience, it was it was some crazy experience. I say, but it was worth it. It was worth it. But I learned. I learned quite a bit from being there. Not like it wasn't nothing. I didn't learn like a lot, but I learned a little bit. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You learn to improve your game to make yourself a better player. Yeah. And those lessons that you learned from there and from FSW now translate into your new location. You are now a member <laughs> of Roy's women's basketball team. They are incredible. A mid-major type right. team. You're going there. What what made you choose to go to Troy? Because I'm sure you still had a, when you decided to enter the transfer portal, you had those high major offers again. What made you decide to go to Troy? I know I knew you was gonna hit me with this, Jay. But <laughs> but I wanted to play with some dogs. I wanted to play with some. I mean, every player, every player on this team are dogs. Like every player want to win. That's when you when you go to practice, you got. Every player going hard. You got the coaches going hard. The coaches cheering us on, encouraging us, and that's what I need. Like that's that's what I needed. Um, I'll say I didn't get that much at UNCW, but here, yeah, I just feel like they would have treated. They treat they treat me like on their kid. <laughs> they treat me like family, and I just love the environment at Troy. And I want to rain. I really want to rain, and I know we're gonna get one. Speak it, manifest. I'm manifesting it. I know we're gonna get one. Surrounded by a lot of great people, so I see it coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got the rings last year. They were champions in their conference last year. Made that March Madness tournament. And in my personal opinion, I'm a little biased because you're on the team now. But I think they got <laughs> a lot better in the off season. I think the Division One transfers that they got, they got even better. And I think they're going to make a good-sized run in that tournament this oh, year. You, along with Tina, who I uh, alluded to it earlier, she joined you over there at Troy. <laughs> You're the second all-time leading scorer in FSW history. She is the first. She has 1,071 points in those two years there. She was at Kansas the past two. Now she's here. Talk about what it's like being able to play alongside her again. You got to play alongside her during the practice. <laughs> uh, that, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Because Tina, Tina, Tina is a great player. So all you have to do throw the throw the ball to Tina. Tina going she gonna score now. You throw the ball to Tina. Tina going yeah. She got the moves, but yeah. I really miss like when Tina once Tina left from FSW. I was like. I don't know who else we're going to get. That's like Tina. But now that I'm playing with her again, it's like, got my dog back with me. And we got something to prove. Because I just don't feel like, I don't feel like, I ain't going to say that. But, yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to say that. But, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first two ever All Americans, you know, at FSW. I know I keep mentioning it, but you guys really set the landscape for that program. You two are like <coughs> dogs. You're fighters. You're going to be bucket getters for Troy. I'm so excited to watch for this season. Tell, tell me, tell, you know, the people that are watching, people that are going to be watching this, what are, what are Tro- Trojan, my bad, Trojan fans getting out of this year's Troy's team? What, what are they getting? Yeah, what, are, what should they expect this season? They should expect, I'm, how many people watching? Let me check this out. Okay. I'm going to let y'all know, y'all should expect a winning streak, an unde- undefeated winning streak. Y'all should expect a team full of energy every time we step on the court. Y'all should expect coaches <laughs> to be dogs, too, because I'm telling you, our coaches, they some dogs when they come to practicing, and they, they really help us. They they work us hard. They work us out hard. They push us hard to be the best players. So y'all should expect. Y'all see them on the sideline. Y'all see. And my my girl in here watching. Y'all should expect Coach C. <laughs> Coach C really. Coach C. I'm just gonna let y'all know. Coach C is really a great guards coach, and I really appreciate her. For real. But yeah. What else should they expect? I um, don't nothing can't come to mind right now, Jay, but yeah. I think they should expect a ring at the end of the season. Oh, I think I mentioned that. I should have been I mentioned that, but yeah, <laughs> they know. They know what's going. I'm not even talking about conference. I'm I'm saying that national championship ring. Oh, both. Both rings. Mm-hmm. What you saying? <laughs> both rings. I- yeah, absolutely, Z. You already know I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be keeping track of every three-pointer you make, which I'm sure is going to be a lot of them. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy I got to do this with you. I've been wanting to do one with you for a while. I just needed to get some time. Thank you so much for doing this with me, Z. I appreciate you. Thank you. No problem. <clears throat>